everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a video now. As I've said in previous videos, I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway. Just let me turn the light on, if that makes any difference. Probably not, just makes my head shiny. Uh, when I get to 250 subscribers, which is still quite a way away, uh, I've just noticed that Stephen, the, the Suffolk Shaver, managed to hit over 200 today. Well, on this on this video, I think it was yesterday. I actually hit over two hundred. So, congrats, mate. Well done. Um, hopefully, I can sort of keep up with you as we're going through. So, once I hit two fifty, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm just going to go through the things I'm giving away at the moment. I might add things in here. I might sort of swap things around. But at the moment, I've got the full giveaway ready to go. So, I've got. I'll just start off with a shaving soap. It's an Edwin Jagger shaving soap. Um, it's just got a sort of clean, fresh scent. To it. I can't remember what scent it was when I bought it. It might be menthol, but I'm not sure. But so it's never been used, it's brand new, so it's ideal for you just to chuck in a cup or in a bowl. Um, I mean, this is probably going to be geared towards just sort of new shavers, but the stuff in here that, that seasoned shavers might want to use as well, might be happy with. Um, I've also got, this this one here is part of four soaps that I picked up that are really nice. Uh, the Shaver Heaven, Spiced Pumpkin. The reason I'm chucking this one is I live in Australia. Pumpkin's massive over here, everyone eats it. I mean, I, I even I eat it all the time now. Um, so I thought I'd throw in something that to me is sort of quite an Aussie scent um, and it just it smells like a sort of cinnamony spiced pumpkin, it is beautiful now, I have, I've done a lather review on this, so there's a couple of little bristles in here from the Best Badger brush but it's never been used, it's a, I've never actually really used it for a shave so whoever gets hold of this one, um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes with you with the shave, they've got awesome slickness, they're really good protection with these soaps and they lather beautifully and the scents are great I mean this is a bit unusual but really nice uh, next up we've got Crabtree and Evelyn Nomad uh, Calming Shave Cream I lathered this up, I can't remember if I shaved with it I might just have done a lather review with it but I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I did shave with it it's really nice um, it's definitely on a par with the the hard soap that I've got as well if not, it probably lathers a bit easier than a hard soap, but it's a really nice cream. Um, so whoever gets that, I'll be really happy with it. This one here I haven't used, I haven't even reviewed it. I just thought I'd throw this one in here because I've got that much stuff in my drawer now. Um, Close Shaver Squadron. I know this is backwards, guys. I do apologise. Um, I don't know how to flip it over. Um, but this is Kiehl's since 1851 Close Shaver Squadron. And it is a brushless shave cream. So if you're on the go or you're on holiday, it might be ideal just to take with you a quick squirt, rub on the face and a good shave. Apparently it's really good, um, but I haven't used it last year. Next up we've got Natio for Men. Got a little package job here. This is just one that I picked up from a local pharmacy. Um, it didn't lather up that great for me, but I think it's quite. you need quite a lot of cream uh, to, to go with the water. I probably put too much water in, so whoever gets it, hopefully they'll, they'll get the, the mixture right. comes with a little uh, natural bristle brush as well, I think it is. Um, I'll just double check and see doesn't say on here about the brush, but it, it does look like um, badger hair, eh, not badger hair, like uh, boar hair. Uh, it could be synthetic, but I think it is boar. But, nice little set to start someone off. Uh, I'm also throwing in this one here, which you'll probably have seen on my, my lather review videos. It's a little Edmund Jagger Best Badger brush. I'm going to chuck in a little stand with it as well. It's got a sticker on the back, a sticker on a wall, or wherever you want to stick it. I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't really get on with this brush. Hopefully someone can use it enough to the point where it actually softens up and it's quite nice. But as you can see, for an Edwin Jagger product, it wasn't very well trimmed. It wasn't a, it's almost like a rush job. Someone cut it quickly just to try and get it out the door. So I wasn't too impressed with it when I got it. But again, this is probably, it's probably more towards a, a beginner shaver or other than a couple of little bits and bobs. Uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Series Irritation 5 Defense. It's a moisturising cream, uh, helps with rash, um, any cuts and nicks and things like that you get. It's actually very, very good. Gillette makes some excellent products, um, other than the cartridge razors, which I don't use anymore, because as we all know, if you're doing DE shaving, or, um, cutthroat shaving, it's the only way to go now. But their actual products, the, the shaving creams and things like that, they've been in the game for so long that they make things that work. And this, this definitely works, it's a very good cream. I was really impressed with it when I used it. I've used this a couple of times, so it's obviously, I mean, a lot of this stuff I've used or trialled or reviewed, and I'd rather just go to someone that, that might actually use it as part of their everyday shave. 
Um, next up, I've got Parasso gel. It's um, styptic gel. I've used this a couple of times. Um, it's not something that I really enjoy using because you've got to get it on your finger and, and dab it on. So I've just I've cleaned off the top on there and I've just dipped it in boiling water. Um, I, I never actually went back for seconds or anything like that for any nicks, but I, it's just obviously for, for cleaning reasons. Um, so I've, I've scooted a little bit out and I've dipped it in boiling water, so it should be absolutely fine. And it's a, pretty much a full, I've used it twice, two tiny little spots I've used of it. And it's really, really good stuff. It's just a bit annoying for me to use. I just don't enjoy it that much. Um, Chuck it in a razor. Parker 99R, which I've cleaned up a bit. It's a beautiful little razor. Very well presented. I've used it twice. So whoever gets this is getting a lovely little razor. Over here it costs $50. Um, I mean everything that's here, everything I'm, I'm given in this giveaway I've actually purchased myself so there's, there's probably over $100 worth of stuff here um, or 50 quid in the UK if, if this goes to someone in the UK and in America you're probably looking at just over probably between 100 and $125 in America um, so it, it's a lovely little razor, it's quite a mild razor, mild to medium razor um, and I enjoyed using it, it's a good bit of weight in it but I've got five other razors now, and if I'm going to give away a, a giveaway kit for someone, it could possibly go to someone that's going to be trying this out for the first time. Um, so I think it's a good idea to throw out a razor with it, so that you can do the full works. Uh, and to go with the razor, I think I've got six different blade types here. So I've got five packs of Razor Super Stainless. I know it's backwards, guys. They're made by Lord Company. Uh, Lord Razor Blades are... Apparently they're not too bad. Um, I think I may have reviewed one before. I can't remember. Uh, you need to have a look through my videos. So there's five packs here. So there's five in each pack. So it's 25. And then we've got Wilkinson Sword Economy. Two packs of them. Quite a nice little razor blade. I think I've used these ones before. They're quite quite smooth actually. I was quite surprised. When, when, when they put Economy on something, you think it's going to be sort of cheaply made and everything. But no, I'm quite impressed on the pretty good little, little razor blades. Um, the next ones that I haven't tried yet is the Asco. Three packets of them. There's ten in a pack, so there's thirty blades here for them. Um, and these are also made by Lord Company. So I mean, they, they do a, quite a few different types of blades. The Lord Company. So um, the other one here is a, a Russian blade called Sharp Star. I did a review on this. I wasn't that impressed with it. In all honesty, whoever gets this pack might get a better result with it. So hopefully they do. But it's, a, it's another razor blade for you to try, and if it works for your skin in, the, in that razor, brilliant. Uh, next up, I've got two packs of my favourite blades. The Vascot. Um, there's two packs here, there's five in a pack. Excellent, excellent blades. I cannot speak highly enough of these blades. I've used them in two or three different razors now, and I've been really, really happy with them. Very smooth shave. They're just sharp enough that they take enough off in the first pass. But for some reason, the second and third passes and then the clean-up are just so smooth and they don't really leave anything. I'm normally BBS at the end of every shave when I use these, so I'm really impressed with those blades. And there we have it, guys. So that's um, that's pretty much what I'll be giving away when I get to 250 subscribers. I may add or change or... I, I don't know. I'll wait and see what happens as I go along. If I pick up a few more things before I do the take-up head of giveaway, um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's certainly a good package for a, a start-up shaver and there's a couple of things in there that your seasoned shavers might not have as well so um, that's it guys so thanks for tuning in uh, hopefully you can get the word out there and get these subscribers up to 250 the quicker I get there the quicker the giveaway begins and then it'll be on to 500 for my second giveaway so thanks again for tuning in guys um, I know this video is a bit long another 10 minute video I can't help myself some things I, I just start talking rubbish so Please post any comments down below uh, if you've got any questions or anything about the products. Uh, like and subscribe to the page and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again.